Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father. Thank you, Lord God. Praise God. Good morning. Hallelujah. We're going to get started here in just a minute. Just continue to worship him and to praise him this morning. Just begin to give him glory and honor for he is worthy to be praised. Good morning, Nanine and Raquel. Just begin to lift up your hands. Just, just welcome his presence in right now. Just begin to welcome his presence right now into your heart, into your mind, into your spirit. Just begin to soak in the presence of the Lord right now. God bless you, Norman. Uh, hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Just so good to be with you this morning, gathered together in his presence, because his presence is with us. The Bible says when two or more are gathered in his name, that he would be in our midst. And that is the promise that God has given every single one of us. He's given the promise of his presence this morning. So just begin to lift him up right now. Just begin to bless him. Just begin to glorify his name right now, for he is worthy to be praised and he is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be magnified this morning. Magnify him above all your circumstances. Magnify him above all your challenges right now. Magnify him above all your thoughts. Hallelujah. Just begin to bless him this morning. Just lift up your hands and praise and just begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, worthy is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world this morning. So just begin to bless him. Hallelujah. He's such a good God. God is good all the time and he is just so good to us and so merciful and loving and caring as well. So we thank you this morning, oh God, for your presence. We thank you that even now, oh God, your spirit is filling us afresh and anew. Right now, we need your mercy, oh God, because we know that your mercy is new every morning, oh God. So we thank you, Lord God, that you've already forgiven us for yesterday and today is a new day. So have mercy upon us, Father God, as we do our best to serve you today, Lord God, with all our hearts and all our minds and all that we do. Hallelujah. Just begin to praise and listen. Even, even Armani just joined me just now. I just jumped in here for this prayer. Hallelujah. And we just want to thank you and praise you, Lord God, for your goodness this morning. And how, just come on, just begin to praise him. Just a couple more minutes as people are coming on. Just begin, let your praises fill your room wherever you are right now, whether you're at work or you may be at, at, at home, you may be in your car. Just begin to praise him and glorify him and thank him for his goodness and all that he does in your life. And just begin to thank him for he is truly worthy to be praised this morning. Amen, amen. Well, praise God. I wanna go ahead and get started right now. Uh, today is a good day, amen. How many, know, how many know that when you declare that, that today is gonna be a good day? See, we need to make sure that comes out of our mouth first thing in the morning so that our mind can hear it, our spirit can hear it, and faith will rise up within us to make sure it will be a good day. No matter what kind of things you face today, no matter what kind of opposition come against you, today is gonna be a good day because Jesus loves you and Jesus is in control of your life. Put that down. Today is going to be a good day. That's right. Put it down right now. Today is going to be a good day. I want you to declare it, proclaim it, believe it, and receive it. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, I want to get right into God's word. Uh, lately, it just seems like God's been speaking to us in such a clear and powerful way. And today's opening passage comes from Isaiah 28.10. And the word of God says this, For precept must be upon precept. Uh, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little as well. Praise God. You know, big victories are usually preceded by a series of smaller battles. So before you get to that big victory that God wants you, many times he'll allow you to go through smaller battles to build up your strength, to build up, uh, it's kind of your conditioning in the spirit realm, amen? And you see, the secret to being a champion is never quitting. Refuse to quit. Put that down. Refuse to quit. 
At the end of the day, many people give up during the small battles when God has huge victories in your future. But if you don't win the smaller battles, if you refuse to quit as you're going forward, if you, if, or, if, or if you do quit, uh, and you'll miss out on all that God has for you. So I know it gets hard and I know it gets difficult, but today, make up your mind, refuse to quit no matter what. You know, the fa you know failure is merely a feeling. See, failure is a feeling. Conquer it and keep heading forward towards your goal. That's right, put that in there right now. Failure is a feeling. It's an emotion, it's a, it's a deception. Just cause you failed, doesn't make you a failure. So don't allow that 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 that, that situation to happen and where you fell short. Don't allow that to brew and to simmer in your spirit. Just put it off. Just ask God for forgiveness. Move on for whatever mistake you made and continue going forward. And sometimes God has big dreams and big things for our lives. And, and it's sometimes to see this huge thing in front of us is so hard to, to attain. But listen, create smaller successes when the large ones seem impossible. Create smaller things that you can do going forward, amen? Uh, there's an old saying, uh, uh, how do you eat an elephant? <laughs> how do you eat an elephant? Simple, one step at a time. Even a skyscraper, even these huge buildings in downtown Richmond or even in New York City, every skyscraper was built one brick at a time. See, never quit. See, quitting never gives you what you really want. Write that down. Quitting never gives you what you want. See, every step away from yesterday is significant progress. So just continue one step at a time. And while you're moving forward, you may fall back once in a while. You may have a setback. But if you take one step back, then take three steps forward and you're continuing to take ground. I just want to encourage someone out there this morning that may feel like quitting, that the pressures of the season, that sometimes the the the, the, the anxiety you may feel on the inside, like, is this ever going to end? Sometimes all these things will work against you. I want to encourage you, take a deep breath, amen, stand on God's word, stir up the faith that's in you by reading God's word, and don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Amen. Praise God. So today we have our prayer emphasis for today. And I'm going to get really practical on this first one. I want to get so practical that you're going to say, well, Pastor, I don't know how spiritual that really is. But it really is very, very powerful. The first one is this. Let your clothes send your message. Let how you wear, put that down. Let your clothes send your message. See, in Genesis 41, 14, God's word said this, Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment, which means clothes, and he came to Pharaoh. See, you are a walking message system to others. Your clothing communicates an attitude towards your goals and towards what you're pursuing in your life. See, people see what you are before they hear what you are. Oh, man, write that down. Hear what you are. Oh, I'm sorry. They see what you are before they hear what you are. That is so important to have an appearance, amen, that, 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 that blesses people, that when, that when they see you, they know you're going somewhere. It's very important to wake up in the morning. And I know sometimes we don't want to uh, wait. We want to just stay in our pajamas. We don't have to go anywhere. But you know what? This morning, wake up, take a shower, get dressed, uh, look good. Yeah, even if you're just going to go to the store, uh, you know, fix your hair. Ladies, put some makeup on. Look good. Feel that appearance will make you feel so much better on the inside and you'll and you'll send a message to others that you're walking in God's presence and God's spirit and you see even Joseph in the scripture he dressed to create acceptance in the palace of Pharaoh when Pharaoh called Joseph he didn't just leave his his what he had on he didn't he didn't leave his his, his beard all, all scraggly and, and, and his clothes all dirty the, the Bible says he shaved he got up he took a shower he shaved he got dressed because he wanted acceptance 
by the person he needed acceptance from, amen? You see, presentation is your gift to others. It reveals what you consider most important. I always told my son Gabriel when he went for his interviews and, he, and he'll testify to this. I said, don't ever go to an interview just dress raggedy. I always told him, put on a shirt, put on a tie, put on a jacket, put on a pair of khaki pants, a nice pair of shoes, and go to that interview, amen, uh, uh, with, 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 with impression, with, with acceptance in mind, because if you want to get that job, they have to accept you. And you know what? Every time he did that, he was usually offered a job on the spot. While other kids were going in there with shorts and gym shoes and t-shirts to apply for jobs, he dressed up like he owned the place, amen? And because he did, he got every job he ever went for, amen? To this day, he's learned how to do that, amen? So praise God. So remember that your clothes send a message. The second thing, I know, the second thing is done. This is, this is going to get deep here in a second. I love this one right here. You can create your future. You can create your future. Isaiah 43, 18, 19 says this, do, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Shall you not know it? And I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Here, here Write this down. You'll never leave where you are until you decide where you'd rather be. Oh man, I know that's long. I'm gonna take a few minutes because I want you to write that down. You'll never leave where you are until you decide where you'd rather be. Oh my goodness, that is such a power. See, the reason many people are where they are is because they haven't decided where they'd rather be. See, the day you make a decision about your life is the day your world will change. We have to stop settling for where we are and, and understand that if I don't want to be here, where would you rather be today? Do you have any idea? If you do, make a decision to get there and then God will begin to lay out the plans. See, move decisively toward the goals you've established. If there's a vision that God has placed in you, then don't just sit back and just and just and, and be idle. But do things every day, even little things, to move you towards the goals that you have. Listen, and write this down. I know I'm telling you to write some stuff down because this is so key for you to remember. Hallelujah. Intolerance. Intolerance of the present creates your future. Intolerance of your presence, of your present creates your future. Intolerant of your present. In other words, when you're not satisfied where you are, then that's going to launch you and helps you to create your future. Something has to move you, amen? Whether it's whether it's, it's indifference or it could be, I'll tell you what really moves you sometimes that's negative is rejection. When you get rejected by somebody and it moves you from where you are and you think, man, I cannot believe that person did that. Sometimes God will reject you and cause rejection, for, uh, not, not reject you, but he'll, so he'll cause someone to reject you who you respect because God knew you couldn't move from where you were on your own strength. So he'll push you out of the nest and you'll, you'll be forced to fly and forced to go in a different d direction. Remember that today is your seed toward tomorrow. Your future is decided by who you've chosen to believe. Who do you believe? Do you believe what you think? Do you believe what others say? Or do you believe, or do you believe God's word? And I believe you're walking a whole different place in your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And of course, praise God. Amen. Now, and the, la and the last thing is this. This is so good. My, uh, today's just a good day for me. I hope it's good for you as well. L learn to linger in the presence of God. Learn to linger in the presence of God. Don't be in such a rush after church, to get to your chair, get in your car, and go to the Cracker Barrel. Linger. Learn how to linger in God's presence. Even today, after this prayer, learn to allow God's presence just to do something in you. In Psalm 1611, it says this, you will show me the path of life. Your presence is the fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. See, those who surround you influence who you become. 
Write that down. Those who surround me influence me who I become. Something happens in the presence of God that doesn't happen anywhere else. You see, commands take a moment. Plans take time. See, your views will change in his presence. Your perceptions are corrected in his presence. Your faith becomes focused in his presence. So allow the God for his presence this morning. So hallelujah. So right now, let's pray. Just lift up your hands right where you are. Just begin to give him glory and honor one more time. Just begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, let his presence fill you right now. Let it lift every burden. Let it break every yoke right now. Everything that would try to hinder you, let it just fall off. Let every care and every worry, just let it leave you right now. Just feel those cares and worries just leaving you right now as the Holy Spirit begins to fill you right now. Hallelujah, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you this morning, oh God. And we praise you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy, Father. In Jesus' name, oh God, help us and teach us, Lord God, how to show what's happening on the inside to let it reflect on the outside. Lord God, if there's joy in our hearts, let there be a smile on our face, Lord God. If there's, if there's peace in our hearts, then let us walk in peace and tranquility, oh God. And Father God, if we have to be somewhere with people, let us dress, Lord God, in a way that would show, Lord God, how much we love you and care you and how much we respect them and, and how much we want to be a gift to them as well. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, teach us, Lord God, to walk worthy of your calling, Lord God, to dress accordingly, Lord God, as we go out and represent you everywhere we go, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for providing for us, Lord God, for providing, Lord God, and keeping us completely filled with what we need in our lives. And Father God, I pray that today we will not quit. Come on, say that, declare that right now. I will not quit quit. Hallelujah. Come hell or high water, oh God, it doesn't matter how hot the fire gets. We will stay in it till we win it, oh God. We will not quit. I pray for anyone right now that's at that place, Lord God, where they feel like quitting, where they feel like just giving up and throwing in the towel. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you'll quicken them, strengthen them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. And just let them know that you are with them, that they're not fighting this battle on their own, oh God, but that your presence will go before them, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, for the victory. We thank you that when we don't quit, we win, Lord God. So we thank you that because we know that quitters never win and winners never quit. And we are winners, oh God. We are the head and not the tail, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, for the strength and the endurance that we need not to quit, Lord God. So I thank you for that this morning, oh Lord. And Father God, thank you that we could speak, Lord God, speak our future into existence. You said that we are created in your image, oh God. And Lord, you spoke and all the worlds came to, came to be. You spoke in darkness and light appeared. In Jesus' name, we thank you right now, Lord God. Help us to speak our future, not to speak negativity, but to create the future that we have right now, Father God, the, the, the future that we want and need, Lord God, to no longer be satisfied with where we're sitting, because where we're sitting, if it's not where you want us to be, then help us to move forward, Lord God, and know that what we want, Lord God, what we desire, you said that if if we delight ourselves in you, that you'd give us the desires of our heart. So, Father, as we delight in you, give us the strength to take one step forward, one step at a time, Lord God, little by little, Lord God, patiently stepping forward into our future, Lord God, forgetting the former things, Lord God, leaving the past behind. Our past will not dictate our future this morning, oh God. So, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we walk into it. We step into our future, Lord God. Well, we know there are better things, Lord God, for us. Our best is yet to come. And we thank you, Lord God, that our best days are still ahead of us. And we thank you for that promise. 
And right now, Lord God, I pray for all those right now. If you, if you have a prayer list right now, I kind of encourage you to put that together yesterday. If you have a prayer list right now, lay hands on your prayer list. If there are people right now that you want to pray for, I know that my sister Frances needs healing in her back. Uh, there's others online right now that may need a miracle from God. Right now, we're going to touch and agree and believe the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit to touch you right now in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise. Let the enemy be scattered right now in the name of Jesus. So Lord, I pray healing over Francis, healing over others right now that need a healing touch in their bodies right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that it's by your stripes that we were healed. You sent your word and it healed every disease, oh God. Father God, you even healed a, a young a young servant, Lord God, when the soldier asked you, and you didn't have to even show up. You just sent your word. You sent your word, and, and the faith of that soldier healed his servant. So right now, Lord God, if we're praying for others that may be in a hospital, that may be in other parts of the city or the, or the county, or, or might be in other parts of the country, or even the world, right now we declare your healing over them right now. In the name of Jesus, oh God. And we thank you that your word has gone forth. It never returns void. It will accomplish what you set it out to do, Lord God. So thank you for your healing touch. Thank you for the promise, Lord God, of health, Lord God. I pray divine health over everyone, over Francis and everyone else that needs divine health right now in their bodies. We speak divine health over them right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for our unsaved loved ones that need to come to Jesus. We declare them. We receive them saved and whole and healed right now. Those that need to break bondages and habits right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray you'll break those chains right now that bind them in the name of, we declare them free right now, oh God. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. That's your word and that's your promise. So we thank you, Lord God, for their freedom right now in the name of Jesus. Father, any spoken or unspoken request, you know the hearts of your people this morning. So we just thank you and we receive the healing. We receive answered prayer. We receive provision, Lord God, even now. Provide for every need. Give us this day our daily bread, oh God. Provide everything that we need for today. And tomorrow, oh God, we know that manna will come from heaven to provide for that day as well. So we thank you for the victory. And we're always going to make sure, oh God, that you get all the glory, that you get all the honor and all the praise. Amen. If you believe that, put your hands together right now and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, shout out the praise. Shout out your victory. Hallelujah. The most high praise to the most high God. I receive the answered prayer. I walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. What a way to wake up every morning in the presence of the Lord, gather with my brothers and sisters in prayer, believing God for the impossible, knowing that miracles still exist if we believe the God's word say, and if we could just believe him. And the Bible says you, need to, you just need the faith of a mustard seed. That's right. It's such a tiny little seed. It's not big. You just need that much faith. Just a little faith in a big God. Come on, put that down right now. A little faith in a big God. That's right. Write it in right now because that's what it takes to get your miracle today. Well, amen. Praise God. What a wonderful time to gather together with you. And I want to close like I do every morning with the Psalms. And this morning, we're going to close with Psalms 133. Because unity is so important to God us being close and connected to him in unity as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one totally in unity, as we can be one with God and then also become one with each other. So unity is power. And, and, and Psalm 133 says this, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, coming down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard. 
coming down upon the edge of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountains of Zion. Here we go. Here's the promise. For there, everybody say for there, write that in. For there, the Lord commanded the blessing. Hallelujah. Where there's unity, there's blessing. For there, the Lord commanded the blessing. Life forevermore. Oh, praise God. What a promise. What a word for us to dwell in unity. And sometimes we just need to forgive others. Listen, tear down walls that keep us separated, no matter what the circumstances may be. Sometimes God will come into our lives and show us that just holding a grudge against somebody, holding these things against them, listen, even if they did it on purpose, learn to release it, not for their sake, but for your sake, so you can walk in freedom and walk in all that God has for you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, listen, I want to thank you so much again for joining me this morning. What a great way to start the day. I want to apologize for those that couldn't get on yesterday. I did something dumb, I guess. I, I actually went on Rosalinda's live Facebook uh, because I do use her phone uh, to, to go through the live thing. But but I'm really I really apologize. I uh, It is posted on New Life Outreach International's a Facebook page so you can watch what happened yesterday. I do apologize and I'll try my very best not to allow that to happen again. But praise God, amen. So glad you're here. Uh, tonight is Tuesday night, right? So tonight, Pastor Martin will have his prayer gathering at 7 p.m. Uh, with, at new, uh, with New Life as well. I, I think it's a Zoom gathering or I'm sorry, it's a phone call as well. It's a conference call as well. So if you want that conference call number, uh, I will try to post it here very shortly on the New Life uh, New Life um, Outreach International Facebook. I'll put it on there so you can dial that number, that code, and join Pastor Martin this evening. So you, today, I, I say Tuesday is a double dose of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Pray in the morning, pray in the evening. And listen, pray without ceasing. Pray all day long. Amen. And just like I encouraged you yesterday... Whenever you have a conversation with somebody today on the phone or, or just face-to-face, -face, if there's an opportunity to pray, just say, man, let me pray for you for those things right now. Let me, let's just join, join our faith and believe God for miracles. And I believe God will honor your prayers and honor your boldness to pray and believe him for great and mighty things. Amen? Hallelujah. Let me pray over you right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters this morning that are with me. I pray you will bless them, Lord. And I just want to pray for you right now. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Bless their going in, bless their going out. Cover them, protect them. Be a shield about them. Be the glory and the lifter of their heads this morning. And we just thank you for another day, another beautiful day to serve you. And we promise to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus Christ. Holy name we pray, amen, amen. And listen, Raquel Soto right now, she just posted the information for tonight. It's posted right there on this page. As it's kind of flipping through. So get a hold of that as well. And listen, have a great day. And remember this, when you're walking in the spirit, you won't give in to the desires of your flesh. Thank you for coming and being with me in this Walking in the Spirit program. God bless you, and Lord willing, we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.